Okie okay, so this is just a super quick little video I wanted to do because I was watching a YouTube video and a lot of people have already commented on it. But uh, Laura Lee got some of the Kat Von D Lightning Liners in a TJ Maxx haul and she didn't like them and that's totally fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion about makeup. Makeup is subjective beyond belief. So I'm not that, and I don't think she didn't like them because of drama or, or whatnot, so that's not what this is about. But uh, one thing that I wanted to do in this video is show you how to actually use them because I think one of the reasons she was saying that the product wasn't pigmented was because she didn't use it properly. That's not a bash against her. Every makeup, these liners are kind of funky and how you use them but for anyone interested I just wanted to show you guys I purchased three of them from Sephora not from TJ Maxx and I've had them for a while and I absolutely love them so that's why I wanted to share with you uh, I'm gonna do a quick little swatch and also show you how they work uh, but yeah so the product is the Kat Von D lightning liner it looks like this can you see a little there we go and so you have the top part right here. So the top part you have is a brush. And the reason that you're seeing pigment is because I've used it before. And then on the back part right here, this actually clicks. I think you can hear that. But it clicks. There we go. Like that. And clicking it is what actually will release product. Let's see if I release enough. Yep, it will release product actually into the brush. So when I'm using them, you'll do click. I've had these for a while, so I'm clicking them more. Normally, click it like three times to start off. And then as you can see, focus camera. So as you can see, once you have clicked it and you're holding it so the product can drop down, See how there's the liquid at the end of that brush? Now one thing people will do is they will put it on the back of their hand and then they'll just use the brush like so and then go in and do your liner however you would or you can just go directly on the eye with it. A lot of the times I do a thick liner with these so I will just go directly on the eye. But you see once you actually have the product down, it's very pretty and most definitely lots of pigment. So yeah, these products actually do work really well. You just have to let gravity do the work, do the couple of clicks, let the product um, fall through to the end of the brush like I just showed you in the close-up, and then you get more than enough product to work with. And I'll go ahead and do a quick little swatch for you. And the colors that I have are all metallic. I think she does have a couple that are not metallic, but I don't have them. Because while I like these, they are expensive and they're not something that I use necessarily on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you're wondering, the brush, it is a brush, not a felt tip. Uh, so you do get a really super, super precise application with it if you like the tattoo liner. It's maybe a little bit thicker than that, but very similar to how a uh, product applies with that. And... These are the three swatches. I'm sorry, I know these are not the most incredibly amazing, beautiful swatches. This is the purple one you saw me kind of demonstrate with. And the purple one is called... Do, 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 po. Then we have this really pretty... I'm not sure how golden-y, dark golden color, and that is called Hide. And then this green color up at the top, that is called Juno. Okay, so that was just my quick little swatches that I wanted to give you. As far as how the product works, I think it works very, very well. You do have to be careful when you first apply it because since all the liquid drops into the actual applicator tip of the product, if you go on haphazardly with it, you're just going to get product everywhere. So that's why a lot of people will put it on the back of their hand and then use it or just go in gently gently with it so that the product doesn't get out of control it does go on very much like a liquid and dries down essentially how all kind of felt tip uh, liquid liners dry down to with a very pretty metallic sheen on them the price point I think is around $20 for these guys they don't have them at the Sephora I have anymore so I'm not sure if they have them on the website or not or if they were discontinued 
But yep, this was just a quick little video for those curious. I wanted to show you my experience with this product because it's actually a product that I really like. And yeah, that's just kind of it. Uh, and then as far as for application and how I use them, I use them exactly how I use a regular felt tip or brush eyeliner. But yeah, that's it. I hope you're having a good day, night, evening, wherever you are. And I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if you like this, please subscribe or give me a thumbs up. And mwah, goodbye.